Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Ian Wardropper, director of the Frick Collection, and delighted to open the proceedings of this, the first public event of the 10th anniversary year of the Center for the History of Collecting, which has been made possible through the generous support of the Henry Luce Foundation and Barbara G. Fleischman, our distinguished and uh, loved trustee, uh, to whom we are grateful indeed. Over these past 10 years, the center has blossomed and has elevated this rather young discipline of the study of the history of art collecting through its fellowships and oral history program, its publications and book prize, and most publicly through the symposia, uh, the symposia it organizes such as this one. Like several previous symposia, this one on collecting American art during the long 19th century focuses on a category of art not often identified with the Frick Collection. True, we have one Gilbert Stewart and five paintings as well as etchings and pastels by the expatriate American James McNeil Whistler. But as you all know, the Frick is essentially a Eurocentric collection. So it is gratifying that the intellectual reach of the center carries us into new territory. That said, the landscape of American art collecting is far from foreign to those who work in the Frick Art Reference Library, where from its earliest days in the 1920s, the library collected what is now rare and often unique material about American art. Its photographers traveled the country to capture images of works of art, mostly American, in private collections all along the East Coast and the Midwest. So it's fitting that this occasion will celebrate not only the history of collecting American art, but also the contribution of American art studies that our library has made for nearly 100 years. I will now turn the proceedings over to Inga Riest, the energetic uh, director of the Center for the History of Collecting, who will introduce the topic of the day and our keynote speaker. Inga. Thank you, Ian, and let me add my own warm welcome to all of you and express my gratitude to the Henry Luce Foundation and to Barbara Fleischman for making this symposium possible. And I'd like also to give my heartfelt thanks, as always, to the Center's assistant directors, Esme Quadbach and Samantha Deutsch, who ensure that every detail, really every detail, of the event is on track. Of course, I hope I'm not jinxing it by that because we're only just beginning, but if something goes wrong, it won't be their fault, I promise you. In Barbara Fleischman's case, we owe additional thanks for her strong encouragement that we host a symposium on collecting American art, a subject so dear to her and her late husband Larry, as founders of the Archives of American Art, owners of the Kennedy Galleries, and publishers of the American Art Journal, all of which have done so much to enrich the field of American art studies. Barbara became a member of the advisory committee for the Center for the History of Collecting several years ago, and from the start, she urged us to put together a program such as the one that we will be enjoying this afternoon and tomorrow. As Ian mentioned, the library has for decades been committed to gathering materials that support research in this field through photography campaigns and acquisitions of what are now extremely rare gallery checklists, pamphlets, and auction catalogs to amass one of the most comprehensive collections of materials for the study of American art in general and the history of collecting and the market for American art in, uh, in particular, much of which I'm very happy to say is now accessible online. All of our photographs are online and many of the special exhibition pamphlets. It's quite a treasure trove. So to our topic and our keynote speaker. <laughs> 